Hey guys, it's me Poppy Rain here. I'm kind of in a shitty mood right now, but anyways, we're still gonna open Mommy's Baby Yoda, because she came today. Um, let me see if the name of the shop is on here. Sorry, I'm trying to find a way to get my phone's on the charger because it's almost dead. This mommy's an asshole. This is from Little Green Jelly Bean Bodies. My phone is not messing up because it's on the charger. I might have to get off the charger. I might be able to do it. So, first off, the box came half opened, which pisses me off. This whole side wasn't even taped down. It was literally like they only taped down half the box. So, I'm mad about that, first off. Second off, the box, the package told me, like, the shipping... After she it, told me that it would be here yesterday for mommy's birthday. Well, it wasn't. Pissed about that, but I mean, that really wasn't her fault. Okay. So, second off, I'm going to tell you right off the bat right now, this doll is not packaged very well. There's no protection on the head. It's literally just wrapped in a blanket. And then there's an outfit underneath. So it says, it says, happy birthday. I hope you love his eyes. When I found out purple was your favorite color and it's your birthday, I knew I needed an eye upgrade on the house. I hope you have tons of adventures. So that was good. First off, so there's the receipt. Second off, it did come with a foundling adoption certificate. Which I wish would have been filled out, at least the gender. Because I told her the gender, the date of birth. Look, this is what it came with. And it was wrapped in a blanket. Came with a little, yep, squishy frog, a little squeaky frog. Here is what Baby Yoda looks like. He's cute. The body's kind of a weird shape, though, I feel like. And it did come with the original outfit. That has been modified so, no yeah they literally cut the outfit off and i don't know why there's a big slit in the back so i'm not really sure the deal with that or how i would even get this back on baby yoda but i have my own outfit for baby yoda So, I mean, there's nothing really too super special about Baby Yoda. He's cute, though. We're going to dress Baby Yoda. So, here's the little diaper I have for Baby Yoda. I don't have the shirt that goes underneath. So, I'm missing the shirt that goes underneath his PJ, under his outfit that I'm going to put on him. I don't have his... shoes or his pjs either they have not come yet and they said this baby was like newborn preemie size the way the legs are on baby yoda i don't know how this diaper is actually gonna fit because this diaper fits weird Okay, so here's what the diaper looks like on him. Here's his little sockies. 
I got everything newborn size. So I'm kind of mad. I spent the $4 to buy him a outfit when he came with an outfit. Or to buy him, sorry, not an outfit, a blanket when he came with a blanket. That was kind of annoying. But whatever. socks on. So I'm kind of annoyed about that first off. Yeah, I think newborn's gonna work out. Because everything I got him was newborn size. And then here's the little outfit we have for him. Um there's a shirt I ordered a shirt that to go under it. So we shall see when that arrives how that looks. Yeah, I think it was the right choice to go with newborn. I mean, newborn's a little big on him, honestly. As far as clothes go. Yeah, this looks a little bit. I mean, it's not too super bad. It'll be better when I have the shirt underneath. Um, the legs are a little long. On the, he needs, like... I think he needs preemie pants, honestly. I think he needs preemie pants and it, like newborn and tops aren't too big. This is kind of big on him. But this is what it looks like without the shirt. I don't obviously have the shirt underneath or the shoes for him, but shoes wise, he definitely needs newborn. But I think she'll like him. Give him his little frog and his little blanket. Um. But anyways, I'm going to go and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.